Hello everyone, Professor G here. We're going to finish with our lesson in access. I'm working from page AC582 to AC587. So if you have the book, you can follow along in your book. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the resource properties. Okay, so this is where we stopped in our last lesson. So we're going to have to close out the query owner by name. All right, and then we're going to go to home and we're going to go to view and we're going to say design view. Once we're in design view, we're going to right click on our form and we're going to click on properties. We're going to make sure the property sheet says form. We're going to go to data and this is our, our record properties. We're going to right click and we're going to zoom. This is where we would put our select statement for SQL. Now what I did is I typed it up prior so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go back to my zoom and just copy it in, paste it in. Alright, so it has to be exactly like the book states. Alright, so the capitals where the capitals are, the uh, brackets where the brackets are and it has to look exactly the same and then say okay once you say okay what you're going to do is you're going to go to the um form design tools and you're going to go to the more button and you're going to click on your button and then you're going to click in the form you're going to draw your button and you can draw it as big or small as you want because you can always um, readjust the, the size of the button inside of here you're going to type in the word preview all right so I'm gonna click out into the form I'm going to click back into that button just to make sure that button is activated I'm going to go over here to my property sheet. I'm going to go to format. <clears throat> In the format property, it should, for the caption, it should say preview. Then I'm going to go down to where it says picture. I'm going to click where it says picture. I'm going to click on the three dots, which is your build button. And then I'm going to look for the words preview. So it should be in alphabetical order. And here it is, preview. And I'm going to click OK. It will give you this sample in my button. So, and you can see the sample right there. It says preview. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the picture caption arrangement. And here that is right here. And I'm going to once I click in there, I'm going to click the arrow, and I'm going to make sure that says bottom. Now, when you're doing this, you have to make sure that you have your button is selected, okay? So I'm going to say bottom, and you're going to see that the picture and the words are in there now. All right. So now I'm going to go back to my property sheet, which is here. I'm going to click on back color because I want to set the color for this button. And I want to click on my build button, which is the three buttons. And then I'm going to look for green accent six. And if you just highlight it, it will tell you what it is. So accent six, 60% and that's it. And so you see the color of my button changes. So once I have done all of this, I want to make another button, but instead of going through all the steps, I'm just going to right click, say copy, click out into my form and say paste. Now, it will come up here and what I'm going to do is reposition this to go right next to this particular uh, button. All right. Now, what I want to do uh, as well is I want to make sure that all of these labels in my list box are basically 
um, you know, about the shame. They're, they're covering the shame. Uh, and it looks decent. It looks nice. Okay. So now I'm in my, um, <clears throat> my new box, which is the second, um, button that I just copied and pasted. So what I'm going to do is make sure this button is activated. I'm going back to my property sheet. I'm going to uh, make sure this caption for this button, okay, says display. So G-I-S-P-L-A-Y, okay, and you'll see the, the words change to display. I'm going to go to the property, picture property, which is here. I'm clicking on my build button. And now I'm looking for MS access queries. So, again, it is in alphabetical order. So, let's see. MS access queries. There it is. And I'm saying, okay. I'm going to save everything that I've done so far. All right. So, this just looks like it's just a little bit larger. I'm just going to make it just a little bit smaller. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the name property for the list box. So in order to do that, I have to click in the list box. Once I click in the list box, I'm going to the property sheet, and I'm going to click on all. So in the property sheet where I have all for the property name, I'm going to click in here, and I'm going to type one first query list okay and then I'm going to the back color and I'm going to look for the build button and that's the three dots and then I'm going to go white background one which if you just put your mouse on it it'll tell you that it is okay and then I'm going to click over to my detail, okay? And from the detail, I'm going to look for the back color. So here's the back color. And I'm going to go to the build button, which is the three dots. And I'm looking for a white background one, darker 5%. And there we go. And you see it changed the background color. All right, so I'm going to right-click and save what I have. And you see that your uh, form looks exactly like the form in 1031. Uh, so I'll see you all in the next lesson. Have a great day.